No, this isn't a joke video. This isn't me trolling you guys, I'm not paid to do this and nor am I being held at gunpoint. I genuinely think Winston Payne needs more love and attention. This prosecutor has gained a lot of flack over the years. Whether it's a nitpick on how he's an idiot or that he's annoying, nobody likes Winston Payne. He gets so much flack that even in-universe characters forget who he is exactly. I generally feel sorry for pain and pity him. There is something about pain that needs to be said, redeeming features that need to be told, and I'm here to tell it. But why, you may ask? Because I think Winston Payne is one of those characters who I think has a lot going for them, but a lot of people fail to see it as it is overshadowed by the most ugly of aspects regarding Winston. Also including his little twerp of a brother. Because honestly, this character is better than you think. So before I get into bracing this character, I think it's essential to list all the factors in common com He's cocky, arrogant, annoying as fuck, and barely a challenge in court and pales in comparison to the main prosecutors of the entire franchise, who are more fleshed out, have a better goal in mind, a purpose are more genuine and are actually a real challenge in court and his brother isn't much better. So to these complaints I say, okay don't tell me that most prosecutors they face off against don't start off by being arrogant and cocky, underestimating the abilities of Phoenix, Apollo, Athena and Mia. These people start off as the worst of the worst. Phoenix even believed all prosecutors are this bad and only wish to see his clients guilty that until Edith opens his eyes to the light, to the truth, to everything. Pain is arrogant, has an ego, shoves it in your face that he's better than you. Yeah, he's pretty much like that, but how would that make him less likable than Von Karma, Garan, Nayuta, or Franziska? He has an ego, but does he glorify it in the first turn about, the last turn about, and turn about Trump compared to turn about memories? Because Payne doesn't really work off that ego and use it as an excuse for him doing so many irredeemable things like how his own brother does. Out of all the prosecutors with long standing win records, he's basically the only one who earned the right to have that record. His win record before Turnabout Memories was 7 years. He, that's basically Ezra and Francisca's combined. And unlike them, he used his own merits to get it. He has the most cleanest record out of most prosecutors in this series. No mind games, no dirty tricks, no forced evidence, no bribery, corruption, or persuading the guy to do full voice chant against the defense or even the defendant. It's too plain host a bloated ego. But he has his standards using the most humble methods to get his verdict. Although it's pretty ambiguous on how many defendants he sent to prison that are actually guilty, it's hard to tell as we have no idea to know for sure. Payne also treats his witnesses with respect. He doesn't suddenly become racist to his own nationality all of a sudden to get on the witness's good side. He puts genuine care for his witnesses most of the time, even allowing Talia to not get ruthlessly badgered by Mia. As a result, since he didn't have any idea that Talia was the killer and only appeared appeared in the calm, fertile facade, he sold a small gentle side and tried to protect Daria until she was revealed to be a psycho. During that, during that same case, he actually put up a pretty good fight against her until Cold Killer X blew off that pompadour that could even rival Jusuke's pompadour. This moment changed pain. He wore a grey tux instead of a bright green one and his overconfidence leaked out. The guy lost his hair, his confidence, his win were good now reduced to just being forgotten by everyone in the prosecutor's office. If that didn't happen, I'm sure Pain would have, would have a different character. His ego might have driven him to the same tactics as his brother. He might be a lot like Gaspin Pain. Oh right, we need to talk about him too. Gaspin Pain is a big bully compared to his younger brother. Instead of a self-complained Wookie killer, he's a self-complained defendant humiliator. He was a Winston Pain 2.0, but there's a difference, he was a lot meaner. He harasses the defense and the defendant, and he's a big wimp as well, leaving the courtroom when a bomb was about to go off. 
granted a bomb, but the judge and Phoenix and Athena had the guts to stay around. He didn't even come back when it was revealed to be a fake, just as Phoenix pointed out. He went to Korean and became chief prosecutor in the short span of months, killing loyalist defendants with the snap of his finger, even willing to get a 9 year old Albi executed along with Phoenix just for, wait for it, revenge. He has a bigger ego, a head bolder than his older brother and he hides behind a fake toupee. He's arrogant, he's careless and at a time pretty heartless. He was just Amina Winston in Dual Destinies, but in Spirit of Justice, he became a more stupid version of Manfred von fucking Karma. From what I said earlier, Winston isn't immune to being a little petty, he just wanted revenge on Phoenix in Turnbull Trump. Probably some sort of morbid karma for what happened in Turnbull Memories. He wanted Phoenix leaving the court to maintain, but did he want but did he really want Phoenix to, well, die? If Winston was in the same position as Gaspin did, would he be willing to get Phoenix executed due to the Defense Culpability Act along with a 9 year old? Would he be wanting Phoenix to beg for mercy and lick his boots until he took Albie's defense? What I'm getting at is that Winston isn't a great A asshole like his brother. Gaspin would rather pride himself on sentencing many, many innocents to death including the guy who chased him out of the country and the 9 year old rather than finding out the truth of the crime and who really did it. Winston however, would he try to do so? Yeah, Winston worked with Luke Acme thinking he was the real master mask but he was kinda oblivious to that aspect. During the last turnabout and turnabout Trump, Payne was evidently out for some revenge, but look at the way he does it, he wanted to find solace for the repeated failures he gained in the past. That actually sounds a bit more, well, dare I say, honourable than just saying, oh I got beaten once, and I have to leave the country, and now I have to get this guy sentenced to death. That is actually pretty mild compared to, to what Gaspin did. Because of this man, this one man who was there in the very trial that took away his confidence, his cockiness, his ego, okay, at least in that sort isn't insufferable, what I'm saying is that moment changed Winston. He was never a corrupt prosecutor and even managed to name the court cafeteria's hot dogs. But he was not pure in personality, he was still a form of asshole, full of himself, a huge ego, but he had more of a soft side from that point mentioned earlier where he defends witnesses with a more mentally unconfident if that's the correct word or even a word at all. Winston would turn out differently if that didn't happen, to the point he'd become a lot like his younger brother. Gaspin was a dick through and through, doing the exact opposite of what his brother would do in the same situations, willing to cut the throats of anyone for anything. Even taking part in the dark age of the law, doing the same route as Aristotle means, fabricating evidence and other sorts of dirty tricks. It's basically what Winston would be like if he never lost that pompadour of his. He would badger witnesses, go against his own morals, and result to using a tope to cover his hair when he loses it naturally, like his own brother. That's basically enough of my two cents of Winston compared to Gaspin. My stance here is that Winston isn't the kind of prosecutor who'd go out of his way to do all the nasty tricks in the book. This video's purpose, yeah, is me appreciating Winston fucking pain of all people, but this also serves a purpose to let you beautiful people out there understand that Winston Payne isn't necessarily a bad character. I know I've mainly tackled a lot blood on Payne's morals and just because this character isn't bad doesn't give, give him a get out of jail free card for well people wanting to hate him. I'm just letting you all to at least not hate Winston that much. I just want to make you think and come to your own conclusion that Winston Payne is better than you may think. He wasn't corrupt, he well to the very least cares for his witnesses and I haven't mentioned this but it was stated that he has a wife and daughter of his own, maybe his thought would be a next tutorial stepping stone. In short, Winston Payne is better than you think. Okay guys, don't forget to like and subscribe so I'll have a reason to live 
so it won't cease to exist. I'm Hero Man 66475 and I'm signing out.